Hey guys, my name is Robert. I recently discovered Club, which is an application that allows me to optimize images, videos, and PDF files. Over the years, I have tried many, many optimization applications, but none of them offers the amount of features and versatility that I have found in Club. I am personally always dealing with these kind of files, whether it's for work or for clients, or even just for posting online, even for attaching media to my own digital journals. So having something that allows me to save space or meet file size requirements for platforms or for emails while still keeping a very good quality is something very, very important. And it can save you lots of trouble in the long run. Actually, it can also save you lots of time if it can be done quickly, like this application allows you to do it. So let me just jump into my system and show you how I have it all set up, how I make it interact with Alfred and how I make it also interact with Dropover, which is another application that I really, really love. Club is an app that will live in your menu bar. There's a lot of ways you can set this up. For example, it can automatically optimize whatever images, videos or PDFs you place on your clipboard. I believe this used to be the original functionality of the app but now it has evolved and can do so much more. I have the clipboard optimization off by default. I just do not need it all the time. What I really like is that you have the option of enabling a drop zone. Then there's the secondary option, which allows you to turn it on or off on the go by pressing a quick keyboard shortcut. Whenever you activate the drop zone, you can drag any files you want to optimize to the corner of your screen. Then this small window will appear where you even have more options, like downscaling by a percentage. In the settings, you can also set watch folders for different file types. You can set up rules. It can automatically convert formats. It has some keyboard shortcuts and it integrates perfectly with the shortcuts app for automation. You name it, there's so many different options. And if you feel comfortable using Something like Terminal, it even has a CLI for that. I personally like using Alfred for a lot of what I do around my system. So I created a workflow that I will share with you in a link in the description of this video. By default, when you install Clop, you can press Ctrl and O to optimize a selected file in Finder. I deactivated that and used the same shortcut to trigger my workflow. This uses the CLI available in CLOP, so make sure to install that. To deactivate or modify the original shortcut that comes with CLOP, you go to the top menu of Finder, select Services, then Services Settings. You find CLOP there and remove or change it. With my workflow, you can press the same keyboard shortcut, which is Ctrl and O, for quick optimization on single files, multiple files, or folders. If you prefer aggressive optimization by sacrificing a tiny bit of quality, you can press Ctrl together with Command and O. And if you want to do even more, you can press Ctrl with Shift and O. Then you are presented with many of the settings that Clop offers. But instead of having to use terminal or shortcuts or dive into the app, you have them all here neatly organized. In my case, I even take it a step further. I have Dropover, which is another small but extremely useful tool that allows you to create temporary shelves while dragging files. This app has shortcut action support. It also allows you to watch folders, uh, which means that everything you place in a folder can automatically pop up in a shelf. Uh, every file I download from my browser, for example, automatically pops up in Dropover. Every screenshot or screen recording I take, I have it set so that it also pops up in Dropover. Are you following? So I just created a very simple shortcut that grabs uh, whatever I have in my Dropover shelf and sends it to my Clop workflow. So let's say I took a screenshot and I know I need it no longer than 1080 pixels wide. The file now optimized and resized, continues in my dropover shelf, ready to be dragged anywhere or even uploaded for sharing. With videos or screen recording, this is also incredibly useful. Optimization of screenshots, by the way, could be automated with the watch folders feature of Clop itself, but I don't find myself needing to optimize every single file. Having the option with Dropover is just a bit more convenient for my use case. I have to tell you that another thing I've done is that I created a small automator app which runs optimization after every time I need to export images from Lightroom or Capture One. 
I will also share that info in the same place you can download the Alfred workflow. You can check out Klopp's website where there's more information, there's a trial, and there's a free version of the app that allows you to optimize up to five files per session. Clipboard optimization is free, by the way. So there you have it, guys. I am not getting paid to promote this app in any way. I just found it super, super useful, and the developer has been so responsive answering back any questions that I had and listening to all of my feedback. So I just wanted to support this app and I hope that many of you will also find it helpful. By the way, in most of this video, I use my AI cloned voice from Eleven Labs, just in case something sounded a little bit weird there. I may be doing this more just so that I can push videos faster online, but just letting you know. And if you have any feedback, if you try the app and find a different way to use it, I will be very happy to read so that I can get inspiration for my own way of doing things. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.